Hi, I'm Aaron Merch from 2H Media. In this video, we're going to walk through building a page using Oxygen Page Builder. From the WordPress dashboard, hover over Pages in the left-hand navigation and select Add New. Within the default WordPress editor, start by giving your page a title. In the Oxygen section, select which template you would like to use to render the page. In this example, we've pre-built a main template which allows us to use a consistent header and footer on every page. Save the page and then select Edit with Oxygen. Once Oxygen Builder loads in, you should see the components of your selected template, as well as a placeholder section instructing you to click the Add button to begin adding elements. Click Add in the top left-hand corner of the page. In the menu that appears, ignore the collection of basic blocks and click Library in the bottom left-hand corner. Click Design Sets and choose your desired design set. In this example, we're using our in-house design system. However, Oxygen comes with a library of existing design systems which you can use to build your web pages. Each design system includes a collection of pre-built components which allow you to rapidly build consistent pages using a collection of elements that all have the same look and feel. Choose a design system and then click Sections and Elements. Our in-house design system groups all of its sections into the Content tab. The design system you've selected may use one or more tabs here, so click into them to find out what sections are available. Within the Content tab, the first thing we need to do is select an element to act as our hero section. Typically, a hero section will include a captivating image, as well as the page title, and potentially one or more calls to action. After adding a hero section, once again click the Add button. This should bring you right back to your list of sections, so go ahead and add an introductory paragraph. If your new section doesn't appear where you want it, you may have the wrong element selected within your page. So click the Structure button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Within the Structure menu, click and drag your newly added section until it appears in the document flow at your desired point. Once again, click the Add button in the top left-hand corner of the screen and continue adding elements to build out your web page. In terms of content, we recommend following a very simple structure when creating your own web pages. Start with an eye-catching hero section. Follow up with an introductory paragraph that covers the purpose of the web page. Use one or more image with text sections to break up the web page and make it feel more dynamic. And finally, end on a strong call to action. By following this simple format when creating web pages, you can ensure that your pages cut straight to the point, grab your audience's attention, and direct your customers to whatever call to action you're trying to highlight. After adding one or more sections to your page, double click into any text element to modify its contents. To populate an image element, simply click the image placeholder and then click Browse in the left-hand navigation. This will bring up the WordPress Media Library, which you're likely already familiar with if you've used WordPress for any period of time. If one of your selected images appears too small, you may have the wrong image size loaded in. So click the Size drop-down in the left-hand navigation and choose a larger size for your image. Once you're happy with your page content, click the Save button in the top right-hand corner of the screen to publish your changes. If you saved your web page as a draft initially, the final step is to navigate back to the WordPress editor and click the Publish button in the top right-hand corner of the page. After publishing your page, go ahead and click the View Page link to make sure everything looks the way you expected in the front end of your website. So there you have it. If you followed along with this entire video, you should have a basic understanding of how to create pages in Oxygen Page Builder. 